Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Harry Potter years 5 through 7, and let's continue the story. So, an interesting turn of events just happened, like, literally just happened. Uh, J.K. Rowling announced that there is going to be an astonishing, an astonishing, maybe too simple a word. A possibly better word would be ridiculous. Five movies for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Um, what the... Oh, no. Press B next to the wanted poster to return to the tent. So apparently we're wanted right now, and that's why we need to get back to the tent. I didn't realize that's what that was going to do, but I guess if you ever want to get back to Hogwarts, you kind of know now. Although, this is a fast tra travel also to the London area. So, I really am not sure how to feel about this. I suppose it all kind of just ma depends on whether the movies are good or not. <laughs> uh, on one aspect, it's certainly... What am I doing? Gosh. I'm hitting this wall, but this... Clearly, oh, it's supposed to be up here, way up here. Uh, if it's a good series, it may be better than the Harry Potter 7 movies. If it's, if it's not, then it could be a horrible flop after the first movie. Well, we're going to get at least the first movie. In a lot of ways, I think perhaps on the reboot, on better writing, on now seeing how much money the Harry Potter movie series made, they put, put more help. Did she just hmm. hit him with a spell? I think Hermione hmm. just... She hit him with a spell so that they couldn't identify him as Harry Potter, I guess. Hmm. I guess that was... Sort of fast thinking. <laughs> that way they don't just kill Harry. <laughs> and so, there's Luna Love Good. Here's the mouse guy. There's the key guy from. I don't even know who the guy in, with the gray hair is. Like, who is this character? Let's. See if we can switch into Ollivander. Never heard of him. Don't know. Have not seen him in any of the previous books, any of the previous stories. He looks like he might not even be. In, well, none of these people have their wand, wand, so they can't do anything. All he can do is go invisible. So spectroscopes. So, it is definitely ambitious to, to commit to five movies, and from the bigger movie perspective, it sounds like a typical mistake that they've been doing in the, uh, in the movie industry for a long time here by over budgeting, over committing, trying to make uh, cinematic universes and but that has worked rather well for Marvel <clears throat> but it has worked not at all so far for DC. Now Disney I guess also is has made some progress on making live-action versions of their old cartoons. So those remakes don't really equate to what Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is, though, because that's not going to really be a remake at all. It's it's completely different story, completely different characters. Does this guy have the Deluminator? Yes, he does. 
It's kind of strange they'd throw them in jail, take away their wands, but not take away any of their other things, but... Sure, why not? Maybe they... They didn't... Didn't think that. And so we unlock Ollivander. It feels like Ollivander might very well have been in the, this prison for a long, long time. And see, I would think the D-Luminator here would lead you towards where it should go, but it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. So, let's try to find the cauldron right now before we can make a spell, we have to find the cauldron to put the items in the spell. And we would need our magical spells. Let's see. Is it here? No, I need dark magic for that object. Hmm. Generally speaking, however, I I love the potential there. Five movies, a whole nother series. Wouldn't it be something if, uh, if like <laughs> 10 years from now, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is the well known story, and people have forgotten completely about Harry Potter because it was the lesser. No, 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 now that's probably not how it would work. It would almost certainly be like, well, if you in, if you like this story and this story is so great, you'll also like Harry Potter, and it, it'll continue to give it interesting. Oh, so I just had to roll into the thing. That ma that makes sense. And Ollivander builds something with his hands, and then the game freezes. It also gives the opportunity for TT Games here to, in either LEGO Dimensions, if the, that's still a thing, which I would prefer that LEGO Dimensions still be a thing until they port it to PC. If they don't ever port it to PC, then that kind of means I'm never going to play any more any new LEGO games. Uh, and we're almost a true wizard, so it seems like this is the entire level. Uh, so somebody's holding each of these ingredients. Harry is holding the spider, and Ron is holding the flower. And that was the explosive spell. But there's really only two or three uh, things. Yellow, green, red, blue. Yellow, green, red, blue. Press B to hold objects. It's telling me tutorial things because we've never built anything that way before. And we have a magical mirror. Mm -hmm. Can they walk through it? Mm. Apparently Dobby can save us. So if that is actually Dobby saving us, how come Dobby doesn't have any better clothes? Like, they already freed Dobby. They couldn't help him any further than giving him one sock. If those house elves are truly, like, forced to, ne to never have any clothes given to them uh, at all. You think as soon as you were freed from that curse and that indentured slavery, I'd say, yeah, it's slavery, it's not even indentured servitude. Uh, it's just straight up slavery. Uh, you would think Dobby would overreact and he would be the best dressed house elf ever. And that would be thematically cool. So 
So what's interesting is you get kind of a choice. You can either fight uh, the kid who you've been fight who you've been kind of rivals with the whole time, or you can fight this girl. <gasps> so I'll fight the girl. Frankly, I feel a little sorry for for the kid, even if he is a kind of a jerk. He was probably raised horribly by his bad parents, and and um, and he seems really not that evil. The curves here don't quite work. You end up making more of a triangle shape than anything else. And so now we need to get prepared to do some more portal, uh, well, purple levitating issues, throwing things at us. I, I don't think it's really necessary to. Um, So now we have to fight again in the duel. It's just ridiculous to do this twice. Um, giving us, I guess, the opportunity to do it twice. Ah, but he just moved real fast there. There's a collectible in the, in the fireplace there. really need to get that first hit, because trading blow for blow can cause, cause you to lose, which would cause you to have to start all over again. If all these items were purple, or all these items were just levitatable, and had the purple aura around them, it, it could be a much smoother experience. I think most kids would take roughly the same amount of time, maybe even less time than what this is going to take to to be there. But having to go through the cycles is just a ridiculous stall tactic. And then having to deal with the game locking up is still completely unacceptable. I, I'm trying, it's locked up, I, I tried really hard there, hmm. so you do kind of need the, let's see, now she'll start targeting Ron. There we go. And now these guys are shooting things at me and I am behind this wall so I'm, I suppose I'm waiting for something purple. And there's something purple again. I tried. The trying and failing is no fun. Let's switch back to Harry. So you can, we have to just wait till these silver objects cycle out. Just dodge them, as long as it doesn't do anything and it doesn't hurt your co-op partner any. And see, this might even be more difficult if you were playing with two players because that might turn into its own issue. Darn it. So I knocked out one guy, and now I have to knock out the girl. So I did have to do it twice. Which means there's effectively two duels going on, and no less than three of these tossing fights going on in this scene. It feels like just a ridiculous stall tactic. And... I guess that's one thing they can embrace in LEGO Dimensions, is they can say, well, this is just an adventure level instead of an entire game. 
so we don't have to think of tricks to make the game feel longer. And they can still charge quite a lot of money to do to sell it to you. I know it's three duels, don't it? And they could have easily had half duels and half uh, half other tossing tricks throughout the game, but they chose to include both elements way too often. She's switching a lot, which puts me in a poor position. I almost messed up there and would have had to start over. I really don't like how their necks are coming off the, the, their body pieces in in the animation here. They, they must have fixed that in other LEGO games because I've never even noticed this as a thing. They, they have the necks connect better. Sure, that is less actual Lego-like, but I would rather it not look creepy. So she's throwing stuff at you as they teleport away. And Dobby dies. Just so the story is dark enough. They had to have a dark enough story. They had to have some sad, tragic ending. So they bury him with a sandcastle <laughs> and a sock. <laughs> and how they knew to go to the beach or why they went to the beach, I have no idea. Notice that that didn't spin at all. Like usually when you unlock a character token, it's spinning and you can actually see it. That character token just froze there. So there's either multiple instances of the same issue causing things to happen here or something else is going on. I mean, look how slowly the gold brick right now is just spinning. So that's the Deathly Hallows Part 1 in 17 minutes to finish this. And is that really a complete story? Not really. Here Voldemort shows up and steals the wand that they apparently buried with Dumbledore. Which, why would you bury a wand? I didn't even think they did that. I thought at the beginning of, um, at the beginning of one of the years, like year one, they went to a wand shop where, where the guy bought used wands and sold one of them to Harry. So I thought that's what they did. They recycled them. Hmm. So yeah, Deathly All is part one. Not a complete story. Uh, just really long, I imagine, movie that, that probably ends on quite a cliffhanger. What really occurred in the Deathly Hallows part one? Um, Dumbledore died in the Half-Blood Prince. So... All that really happened was Harry, Hermione, and Ron, apparently, were fugitives on the run for some reason. Uh, the bad guys attacked several times. They took time out to do the tale of the three brothers and explain that, even though it doesn't really matter. Uh, Luna got kidnapped. Uh, Harry and everybody got kidnapped at the very end there. Uh... A lot of fighting, a lot of action things, but uh, not really any actual things fixed. The only thing they actually accomplished, I suppose, is they got one more of those items. I wish I knew what they were called, but I just don't remember that Voldemort put his soul in, and they were able to destroy that, and they had a big fight scene there. But that's about it. So now... Three-fourths of the way through the story, we're at 23.2% done. And here are the villains here. 
I mean, I really like LEGO games. I really do like LEGO games, but to be treated badly once kind of outdoes a million times being treated well. One bad PC port is a totally justifiable reason to never play a Traveler's Tales game again. Traveler's Tales TT games, they keep changing their names or their different divisions in it. Ha! So, um, if I didn't already basically own all the Lego games and I had purchased this one as the first one, I would certainly not buy any more. I'd say, no, that game was garbage. It was unplayable. Um, it's a shame I'm not equipped to play the game and record it off the Xbox 360 because that w would have been an easy fix if I just pulled out my original copy of this. And See, that's the even sadder part here. I've bought this game twice. <laughs> and the right thing for me to do and the thing I don't do because I'm a YouTuber and possibly a lunatic and just want to own games even if they aren't playable and in the distant hope that there might be some patch or fix for it at some point. Uh, but the right thing would have been to, to get a re refund. Get that instant refund. I could certainly still go on Steam and ask for a refund after playing the whole game, but that's not kind of fair at that point. I could do it after two hours and and talk to the people, uh, customer support, and, but again, not fair, particularly as a YouTuber since I'm making videos and these videos get some tiny bit of ad revenue. So that that's not an ethical way to spread the wealth. Anywho, uh, so we have... No red bricks, no, unsurprisingly. We've saved 11 of 60 students in peril. That's not really su unsurprising either. Uh, we've only gotten two true wizards. Uh, again, unsurprising because we're not really trying to run around these levels because every, every second we spend in the levels is another second we may lag. And we've only gotten 52 of 200 gold bricks. So... I think at this point we can struggle and finish the story, which was a big if, really. It, it, I wasn't even certain I wasn't going to rage quit in the first year five story. But we'll struggle, finish the story, but then that's it. That's where I have to draw the line. There's no reason to put myself through the frustration. There are no Steam achievements. I could go download a 100% save file if I wanted it and just feel fine with cheating there um so so we're just gonna finish the story and then i'm trying to be critical of the story but every time i even try to be critical of the gameplay and the development and the story and all that the game lags again and i'm just back to that same thing and it's just over and over again i have to whine about the game lagging because over and over again it happens and there's nothing we can do to fix it nothing at all we've got the graphics so low i would normally be recording at 1080p that would be 1920 times 1080 uh, with texture quality high and every single effects turned up to the max on every other lego game that's worked just fine uh, but here it doesn't it makes it worse maybe it only makes it worse a little bit but it makes it worse Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out, tells YouTube that my videos are worth watching. Even though, arguably, on these videos, I don't even know if they are worth watching. Sorry, I mean, what can I do? I, I really don't know what to do here. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Either finish the story, finish the fight, or give up. And I guess I'll finish the fight. Furthermore, if you want to support me if through my struggles here, you can click on my name right now. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.